won't be enjoying this as much as I should because I've been feeling like crap for about the last 24 hours. Still pretty excited to check this thing out. It's rare that I drink, but this has been such a shitty week. I'm having a beer. Maybe even two. It was too late last night to start this thing up. I think I'd have pissed off some neighbors. It's already seven o'clock now. Normally I kind of break down, give an overview before I gas my oil and start, but I kind of just don't really care right now, so I'll do it later. I want to hear this thing run. I think it's time to get the torpedo heater down from the shelf because that thing is not doing shit. Oh, Jesus. found some time to make this video. I've only had this solved for like a week and a half now, but. Steel MS-880, currently the biggest saw in their lineup. This thing is 121.6 cc, power head weighs 22.3 pounds, puts out 8.6 horsepower, gives us a power weight ratio of 0.3856. Yes, 0.3856 horsepower per pound. Okay, so you have a decompression valve up here. Mounting for the cylinder cover, we got a mounting here, here, and then this pain in the ass piece of crap right in there. So that's fun. Uh, it does have the last Luxazard handle, the ever loved flippy cappy things, your standard non intronic four way switch. It does have uh, limited adjustability on the carburetor, adjustments here. You have a side mounted chain tensioner. These dogs are the ones that come stock on it but not black, I painted it. I've looked quite a few places. I have no clue what the nut recess is for. I don't, I'm assuming a mill of some kind. Good size chip deflector. You have just a real oiler down here and pro saw, so magnesium. This is a uh, 30 inch 3 8 chain on here right now. Although uh, I do have the 59 inch 404. And it's, that's a full comp, I guess. I know I need a skip. I'll be getting one. Non-captive nuts, older model. One thing I noticed that I was unhappy with right away, look at this side cover here. I'm sure it's hard to see on camera. There are spots from when they machined this piece that still have paint and some that don't. So that makes me think that this surface is not flat. So as that paint wears off, there's going to be pressure points where there's more pressure and points where there isn't. So I'm not such a fan of that, especially since this saw is freaking expensive. Standard rim sprocket, 404 as I said came on it, you know I just uh, slapped a 3 8 on there because I wasn't about to try breaking this thing in with a 59 inch bar. I'm not going through the trouble of sharpening all those teeth. All your standard stuff here, wear plate, chain adjuster. The shoulders on these bar studs are bigger than even the 661 so the bars are not at all compatible. I had to order that 30 inch bar. AV system, gonna be pretty standard. Gotta take the air filter cover off first, actually. And there's the uh, HD2 air filter that we all have seen plenty of times before. 
Actually, while I'm here, one note. Cold weather shutter. So just pull that out, move it down here. And they say that is 50 degrees and below. And for 14 and below, flip that down. And also you pop out this tab and you keep that because when it's above 14, you put that back in. So you have two separate cold weather systems. So everything is pretty much the same, just bigger. Pretty standard system for steel, except for often they only have one dog, so this one does have two. Awesome limited coil. Yeah, that's it. So I still need to do some more reading. My buddy Pat did some research, and I've done some reading, and sometime around 2010, they modified the AA to make it more compliant with EPA standards, so from what I understand, they pretty much handicapped it quite a bit. I don't have a whole lot of experience running big saws, so I wouldn't know the difference between this toned down one versus an older one. But once I get this thing broken in, I'm going to be modding it just because, why not? As I said, I need to do some more reading, but apparently you throw a coil from a 441, a carburetor and intake boot from an 088 or 084, and mod the muffler, and it opens these things up quite a bit. So now we're gonna go back in time. First cut was, I think, two days ago here in the garage, and then actually, earlier today, I was at the river and ran a tank and a half or so through it. Well, this is all a week now, and still haven't ran it, and I'm tired of waiting for the right time, so we're gonna run it while I got some wood here. It's dark out, but it's only six o'clock. Breaking for this is different than other saws, according to the manual. It says don't even full throttle it for the first three tanks. That'll be good for now. I just want to get my feet wet a little bit. It's Sunday and I had plans, but instead I spent the day. Ah, people are their guns. Anyway, spent the day with my dad in the garage replacing brake lines in the truck. So I just now got my trailer dumped. I figured I got the new light bar in the truck. I can go ahead and run some fuel through the 880. Get it a little broken in. There's a new light bar. I didn't do any filming though. I was on a time limit. some bullshit. Steel did something to their chain oil. It just pissed me off. There's no reason with a 30 inch bar I should have to open up this oiler all the way. A few months ago they changed the formula and it's too fucking thick. It's not even cold out. It's like 50 and the oil's not flowing. I'm sure you can see the smoke coming off the bar.
gonna go refill and open her up. See what she can do. off my trailer actually it's what I gotta do that light is awesome though oh, that little light doing that <laughs> have a good one humans